Hey YouTube, it's April. I just come in today to give you the three week update. We've had these chompers now for 21 days. Um, geez, we used to glare on my glasses. It was like too much. Um, so just a little backstory for anybody who's new here or just now tuning in. Um, three weeks ago, I had my eight remaining teeth removed. So I, on September 30th, of 2020 I had all of my posterior teeth taken out I kept my lower front six and got a partial and then on January 12th I had my last remaining eight upper teeth removed and then got my permanent or not my permanent my temporary denture um, so that's kind of how that's working out so today's week day whoo, week three um, I've had them for 21 days now in fact, it'll be 21 days officially at about 5 p.m. Um, today. So, a couple things. Week one was rough. I mean, obviously, I just had a bunch of teeth yanked out. Um, hard to eat, that kind of thing. But, you know, that too will pass. Um, a fair amount of Tylenol and ibuprofen. And, you know, you just go about your day and try to do what you can. Uh, week two was amazing. Um, after day seven, I really started to feel pretty normal and things were just going as regularly scheduled. I had um, really great fitting dentures all through week two. Um, I was using some adhesive during week two um, to combat uh, eating. Uh, eating was fine. I could eat steaks. I could eat pork chops. I could eat whatever. Um, the hardest thing that I, that I well... I shouldn't say the hardest. It's difficult for me to eat bread. Um, anything that's got like some some shock absorption, uh, like bread, um, or like uh, like a pop tart, like that's hard. Um, because the I still don't have the bite force required to shred those things with my back teeth. Um, meats and more brittle foods go down like butter, like no problem. Um, that's still kind of a thing I'm dealing with. Bread's getting easier. Um, I had a bowl of cereal that went fine. Um, but bread's still a, a little bit of a struggle. Uh, but my denture fits, but I didn't feel confident eating without my adhesive during week two. Now, between week two and week three, it's a whole different deal for me. I had a lot of um, shrinkage. Uh, resorption is what they call it. Last night I lost my first uh, part of bone. Uh, you know, you get those little bone shards that kind of wiggle their way out. Um, I lost one of those last night. That was a pain and you guys don't know me, but I am a picker. So as soon as I noticed there was a piece of bone available to wiggle and pick at, that's what I did. So um, I wiggled and picked and wiggled and picked and then it was bloody, but it came out. So Thank goodness, because it was kind of just giving me some issues in there. Um, another thing I experienced between week two and today was I had some, like, phantom tooth feelings. Um, so, just in the front here, on the where my most recent extractions were, um, sometimes I feel like there's a tooth there. Um, I can't explain it. It wasn't painful. It didn't, like, hurt at all. Um, but it was just kind of weird and different and interesting. And I don't really can't explain that. So that was strange. But with all the shrinkage came a loose fitting upper denture. And I couldn't eat squat for like two days. And then finally, I, I told you guys a bunch of times that before I had my extractions done and before I received my dentures, I did go out and buy a bunch of different products that, you know, other YouTubers had recommended or stuff I'd see in forums or support groups on Facebook or whatever. And one of the things I bought was Cushion Grip. And Cushion Grip is a, they call it an adhesive. I'm going to say that's not what that is. Um, you guys, I can eat whatever I want with the cushion grip. I don't have to use any adhesive, but the cushion grip, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take my teeth out. So if it's going to gross you out, look away for a second and show you what I'm talking about. I think it's really in there, but so I put cushion grip in 
two days ago. And two days ago, my first impression was, holy crap, these things are comfortable. They feel refitted. And the reason I did that was because I can't see my dentist until the end of the week this week. So the cushion grip lasts up to four days. But when I put it in two days ago, I used way too much. And so when I was smiling, like if I really went for it, I mean, that was like really gummy. Like, I, I, I don't know. It was not cute. Um, so I went ahead this morning and removed the first application of cushion grip I put in a couple days ago. And I reapplied less is more. And then I read online that if you let that cushion get cushion grip cure, um, and you guys can tell, sorry, I'm going to pop these out again and show you. I just put this cushion grip in a little bit ago. And so it's really orangey in there. Um, the cushion grip, when it's totally hardened, and it hardens the wrong word, when it's totally cured, um, it kind of turns like a peachy, um, opaque orange color. Right now, this is fresh cushion grip. I've only had it in for half an hour or so. Um, and so far, I don't have a gummy smile anymore. I used a lot less than I did with the first application. Um, and I only used it on my upper denture because that was the one that got loose. Uh, my lower partial, I had all those extractions done four months ago. And so most of the shrinking that's going to occur is done. Um, so I don't have any issues with my lower partial, like, at all. Um, but I, I had, like, it moved around so much that I, I had to do something. Because it was giving me, like, not just a sore spot, but, like, a sore run. Like, I mean, it was, like, a long section of my gum that was getting chewed up. And, uh, so I took my Dremel to it a little bit and kind of filed it down some. And then I applied the cushion grip. Um, you're not supposed to soak your denture in the cushion grip the first night um, because it can kind of get like waterlogged or peel off or whatever. So the first 24 hours with your cushion grip, don't soak it. Um, the cushion grip though, after it is cured, I because I tried it because I wanted to make sure I could give you guys some good information about the product. After it's cured, um, you can brush them like as aggressively as you normally would with your denture brush. You can soak them after 24 hours and it's like a non-issue and it stays in place and I didn't have any peeling or anything like that. So, uh, but the cushion grip made a big difference for me. Um, but I don't have to use adhesive and I can eat whatever I want, um, which is pretty great. So... The cushion grip was kind of a lifesaver. That stuff kind of rocks. And, um, I, you know, it's not something I want to do all the time. Um, it's a little time consuming. It takes about, it took me about a half an hour to get it, you know, everything done. Get the denture really good and clean and then dry it off. And then I have to soak the cushion grip bottle in a, you know, because it's a thermoplastic. It's more like a reliner um, than it is an actual adhesive. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but when I pulled it out, there was no, like, strings of adhesive that were coming down, stuck to my gums, none of that. Um, it's it's kind of like a refit material. And I really like it because the last couple days I've been wearing it. And when I take my denture out at night or whatever, there's no adhesive to scrub off of my gums. I mean, it reduces the amount of time I'm cleaning inside of my mouth. Because, um, I mean, seriously, guys, I've spent, like, 20 minutes in the bathroom every night scraping adhesive off that's a pain in the rump so i didn't i didn't like that um with this it's just like taking your denture in and out and you clean your denture and you put it away and then you brush any remaining teeth you have brush your gums really good um and you go about your day i mean it's a lot faster so yeah the setup time to get the cushion grip installed is a little lengthy however it saves you a ton of time every single night um so I'm going to try and leave this application in for the full four days. Um, like I said, the other night when I used it, I used too much. My bite was way off and I had like the gummiest, like I couldn't speak without showing my gums. Um, and that's one thing I with my denture, especially since it's a temporary, I'm a little more understanding, but the gum 
on mine was like a shelf. Like, I don't know. It seems like they could have done some more contouring around the tooth instead of leaving me with like a hard line above the teeth. So the gum is not something I think is very cute. Um, so I had my teeth sat way too low. I was really gummy and they felt like they were sticking out. Like I used way too much. Not a product issue. It was a user error issue. So I went ahead and retried it again today and my dentures fit and look like they did the day I received them. Um, but it's thermoplastic. You warm it up in hot water. Um, they, they say not boiling, but hot ta tap water. Um, what I did instead of using hot tap water, because I'm impatient, is I took the cushion grip and I got myself just like a steel cup, you know, like one of those camping ones. And I put it in my Keurig and just put water in it with the Keurig. So it came out really hot and really fast. Um, let the cushion grip sit. And then I rolled it out. You know, you take like a quarter size ball of that stuff out of there, roll it up like a like a Play-Doh snake. You remember when you were a kid, you used to make snakes with Play-Doh? Kind of like that. Put it around the perimeter of the denture and press it in gently. And then I took just another small ball and put it on the palate of the denture. And it fits good. I don't need adhesive to eat anymore. And um, overall, the cleaning routine at the end of the day is substantially um, easier. Um, somebody asked about removing the cushion grip in one of the forms I was reading and some people have a really hard time with it and some people don't mine peels off in about four pieces so it, it took me about five minutes to get it removed so it wasn't terrible and I do think the setup and the teardown time that the cushion grip takes is extra um, versus like your traditional adhesive um, is so worth it because you don't have to clean adhesive off of your mouth I think that's gross and I do I did like the gel adhesive it was fine um but it, you know I, was, I, I use washcloth because like the paper towels like it's like too rough I was using a washcloth to scrub all that stuff out and there's like extra laundry and I hate that and I hate doing dishes I mean you know we all hate it um so anyway the cushion grip is kind of awesome because I mean, they're stuck. I can't just, I can't just pop them out. But between week two and week three, if I didn't have any adhesive on my denture and I was just putting it in, you know, just for like an aesthetic purpose um, instead of a functional purpose. I mean, like if I sneezed or spoke wrong, the denture didn't come flying out of my mouth or anything traumatic like that. But it did, I mean, it would just fall down. So I, that's not the life I want to live. Um, so yeah, the cushion grip was pretty cool. My first impression's good, and I'll keep you guys up to date. I did not keep it in for the four full days they said you could, because like I said, I just used too much. So I'm hoping I can update you guys in a couple days and let you know if the cushion grip is still holding strong and um, still doing what I'd like it to do. I think it's a really great product for your temporary denture because um, your mouth is gonna change a bunch of times between now in the time you receive your permanent denture. And so if you can't get in to see the dentist for a couple of days, but you just can't stand the way your denture's fitting or setting or rubbing in your mouth, the cushion grip's nice. It's like, cause it's, it doesn't, it doesn't cure hard. It cures puffy, I guess. I don't, that's not, not the right word either. Um, but it provides some shock absorption for when you bite so you don't have that piece of really hard plastic you know jamming up on your gums i my first impression was good i like the cushion grip it's um easy to apply i've you follow the instructions less is more and then if you didn't put on enough put some more on the next day after it's cured um but anyway i liked the product um i did order it from amazon ahead of time because i was afraid I was gonna run into a situation like this and sure enough I did and of course you can't buy this stuff where I live so I, I was glad I had it um, but if anybody has you know any questions or whatever let me know tell me what you think about the cushion grip but yeah I mean seriously the other day yesterday this morning my teeth were like two millimeters too low and if I smiled real big it was like all gums it was not cute so less is more it works nice 
I mean, my dentures are stuck in there, and I have no glue or anything stuck to the roof of my mouth, which I think is pretty great. So, um, if you guys have questions or whatever, just let me know. Week three was pretty good um, after I figured out the cushion grip, and um, I'm just going to keep at it and uh, truck along, and I'm going to try to eat some more bread this week too and just kind of let you guys know how that's going because like I said I'm still having some difficulty with that because it's like I can't chew it hard enough for it to get small enough it's like it's spongy spongy foods are hard for me right now um I tried to eat a grape nope too spongy so um I'm gonna keep working at that but you guys have an excellent week and if you guys have any questions at all, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope everyone has an awesome day.